Welcome back, family. You know what I need for y'all guys to do for me. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Come on back to see me, guys. I'm building. I'm building, guys, okay? Go ahead and share. Hit the like button because I'm trying to get into the algorithm. Comment, family, because I like to know your perceptions and your ideas. You understand? Let's have a conversation. Go ahead and support my channel by going to the cash app. It's Drama1980. I do appreciate you in advance. You also can support my channel, guys, by going to the super things located under the video. Yes. And like how I always tell y'all guys, peace, blessings, and much respect until you. Let's jump into this reaction. Well, well, well. Some of y'all just don't believe, but it's okay. I told you already, though. I don't make believe. I make believers. Welcome back, family. I'm Drummer Boy 1980. I'm your gracious host. Hope you're having a good day today, fam. If not, you know the old axiom. Ask yourself why and remember... Happiness is an inside job and it will always be an internal affair. Shout out to Mr. Let Go. I got this clip from him. I'm not going to say nothing. Without any further ado, let's go. One of the things that I realized in wearing my natural curly hair is that it gets a lot of attention. More compliments, uh, flirts, um, attention from women, attention from men, more looks. And and I haven't worn my hair natural in so long that I didn't really pay attention to it. We have created a norm for beauty, standards of beauty that is not really about our natural beauty, our natural looks, right? And it hit me this week. I was like, men did not approach me in person. But when I was single, I was also always glammed up. How often do you get hit on when you feel like you look like a bum? When you feel like you're just running to the store with your ponytail and yoga pants on versus all glammed up, super done, hair did, makeup did, everything did. It's more likely, I think, that we get hit on when we look less glam versus more natural and dressed down. Li Lily says a lot. So unorthodox says, yes, they are. And they have been trying to tell us this. Is it getting to the point where everybody's starting to look alike? But if we're really honest, by the time we're creating these looks that are based on these social media standards of beauty, aren't, isn't everybody starting to look like the Kardashians? Isn't, aren't we all starting to kind of look like your favorite influencer? And so then it's like these social standards of beauty just keep getting more and more ridiculous. We're kind of a carbon copy. That's what I'm trying to say. For those of you who feel like you're wanting to do things a little bit more natural, it's like, she was telling me her last boyfriend, he wanted her to wear her natural hair. He met her wearing extensions, but then he wanted her to wear her natural hair. So she took out her extensions and um, she wore her natural hair for like six months. She couldn't take it anymore because it was just so much work and maintenance. But, and she said he loved it. He loved her natural hair. And she's like, yeah, it's the natural beauties who are who are married. It's the natural beauties, the natural girls who have boyfriends or they're married. Well, 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 guys, what do you think? Put it in the comment section. What are your thoughts on this? Men like natural beauty. Case in point, Rebecca said, whenever that women go to the store with a ponytail and not glammed up, usually women get hit on. I have heard that from numerous women. And they are shocked because they aren't glammed up, but yet they garnishing attention. That should tell you all that you need to know right there. Let me say that again. That should tell you all that you need to know right there. Men want natural hair. And I have explained this in other videos. Men want the authenticity, the genuineness, your real hair. They don't want a face full of makeup. They don't like lashes and all of that. Men don't like stuff like that in general. 
No, I am not talking about every single case, but we are talking about a baseline. Men value rarity. Case in point, a man will go buy a certain type of car because it's rare, a classic, an antique, a Nova, a SS Cutlass, a 67 Mustang, a 62 Impala, a Chevelle. All of those cars are rare. And that's what men value. But whenever that they look at you and you look the exact same way. And a lot of times that look comes with a certain attitude. Oh God. Huh? Can I get a witness? That look comes with a certain attitude and we all know it. You can't even say nothing to them because they so high and mighty. They too good at that point. But whenever they dress down, it seems as though they are more agreeable. In my estimation, right? So what is the standard of beauty now, guys? Let me throw this curveball at you. Let me titillate your mind, all right? What is happening right before your eyes is the LGBTQRS community, they want to be indistinguishable from heterosexuals. Let me say that one more time again. They want to be indistinguishable from the heterosexuals. Imagine you being in the club and thank God that I'm married. Yes, I'm married. But imagine being in the club, guys. You done had a couple drinks up under your belt. You ain't there having a good time. And some of y'all might be smoked up, smoked out, peeled out, snorted up. You're feeling good. You understand? And you in the club vibing. You come across what you perceive as a woman. A biological woman, not psychological. A biological woman. So, you know, you start having conversation with them. And mind you, the likes have a way of just messing with your eyes. And you know that. The club scene is kind of dark a little bit. Lights flashing on you. You got a cup of drink. You doped up or just whatever the case is. You not seeing correctly. And you know women have on makeup. Wigs on. Okay. BBLs and all of this stuff. So, you might want to go have a nightcap. Hmm. Hmm. My God Almighty. So, you take them back to your place or either go back to her place, if you will. And this person tell you, they don't want you to cut the lights on. So, you know, you're like, well, hmm. I just want to know how this person wants me to cut the lights on. Like, mm, I want to see this here. You know, I just want to see just what I'm doing. And you like, no. Don't cut the lights on. <clears throat> no, don't cut the lights on because, you know, I'm kind of shy. You thinking to yourself, what the world? Uh-uh, something ain't right. And you mess around and flip the light on. And this something got a foot long, man. Now, see, I ain't nobody want to go through that because the makeup trick you. The wigs be tricking people and the BBLs trick people. And then they mess around to get a gender reassignment or something. Then this could be a dude with a vagina. See? Uh-uh. Ladies, let me give you this jewel. Whenever that a man sees you, they have to be a level of distinction. What makes you stand out head and shoulders above everyone else? That's the question that most men ask themselves. I'm not talking about desperate guys. I'm talking from a standpoint of guys that you want for the most part. What is the clear-cut difference between her and everybody else? Whenever that he looks at you, that's going to be his first indicator of what type of female you are. Looking at your outside because the outside does reflect the inside. Whenever I see you with a face full of makeup, that speaks to a deeper issue. So now I'm dealing with a woman that's not confident in herself because what you call enhancement it's actually a downgrade. God almighty. Woo, boy, this microphone heating up. Let me say that again. What you call an enhancement is literally a downgrade. The body was made perfect, ladies. And we not telling you to not take care of yourself. That's not what we saying. What we are saying is you are good enough. Oh God, did you hear me? Let me say that one more time because some of y'all just don't get it like Magic Johnson wife. You will figure that out. <laughs> you
you are good enough. That's what we saying. But you fighting us, hand, tooth, and nail, blood, sweat, and tears, trying to be something other than yourself. And we trying to tell you, you are good enough. Just think about that. I like your eyes. I like your lashes. I like your eyebrows. I like your hair. Even if it's short, I like your hair. Get that done. I like your buttocks. I don't want no BBL. I don't want no breast implants. I like you. I don't want a face full of makeup. Changing up the contours on your face and all of that. I don't want that, baby. I want you. And why should I have to waste time trying to convince you that I want you? Why not just go get somebody that's already confident in themselves and what they have to offer? Because beauty is a thing. Yes, it is. But shout out to Mr. Let Go. Shout out to Rebecca Lynn Pope. Guys, you know what I need for y'all to do for me. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come on back to see me, guys, because you know what I do. And until next time, peace. And remember, there is more.